welcome back my name is priyendra kumar and this is the second video in absenteeism report so uh, in the first part of this video we have learned how to create this uh, calculated columns in raw data and we have also make the pivot range dynamic and we have created this uh, pivot table wherein these three calculated fields also available scheduled and planned and unplanned now in this video we will learn how to uh, format the pivot like uh, i have displayed this sorry this month on month date and supervisor and we will also learn how to create this summary sheet so let me go to the book one this is the book one book, sheet, book book wherein we are working so first of all i will change the planned and unplanned uh, this number format so double click here unplanned go to the number format here i will go to the percent and select the percentage now go to the number uh, sorry planned double click on planned go to the number format and now in number format go to the percent two decimal place okay okay now right click on this pivot go to the pivot option here in pivot option we will choose this for error value we will show blank and the report filter we will take two and we will remove this auto fit column with on update now we'll go to the data here in data i will take this none in place of this automatic now i'll go to the design here i will choose any design of the pivot you can take any design i have taken this one now i'll select the entire worksheet i'll go to the home format this and change the font size right click and go to the row height i'm taking 15 by default so now we will change the column width okay uh, now i'll go to the view and i will remove the grid lines and heading as well now i'll select the pivot and make the headers bold for this pivot and go to the analyze sorry design i'll change the uh, layout of this pivot so i'll go to the report layout and i'll take this one which is tabular so in tabular form then you can see the header name is available in place of row label okay so this let me insert one column here this is month on month pivot is ready now uh, we will put conditional formatting here in unplanned to put the conditional formatting i'll select this unplanned and i'll go to the conditional formatting and new rule here in new rule you can see uh, the select sales option but i will select this all sales showing unplanned values because sometime may be possible this range can be changed when pivot will be pressed okay so uh, it will adjust automatically if we will if we will take this one and here in format all sales based on their values we'll select this which is di uh, by default selected and here in the edit rule description you can see format style which is currently two color scale but i will take this icon set in the icon set uh, we can uh, choose type as number not the percentage in both and the number will be one sorry point one two because unplanned percentage i'm taking 12 percent okay you can take uh, whatever percentage or whatever target in your process in both cells in first i will take because when the value is equal to or greater than 12 percent then it will be red so i'll i'm taking this red light from here uh, otherwise it will be always green light okay or even you can choose is greater than okay so since uh, all the number are greater than 12 
this red light is available here now i will put this conditional formatting same in plan we will change the uh, percentage only or the target only so i am going to add a new rule and again i will select this all sales and here again i will choose the data sets and here in place of percentage we will take number number and the is greater than a number will be 0.15 because for plant we are taking target as 15 percent now icon again i will take the same icon the red light when it is greater than 15 otherwise it will be green light so you can see uh, this 13.99 is in red uh, sorry in green because it is uh, less than 15 percent or wherever the value is greater than 15 percent the red light is available there okay friends so we have format this now i'm renaming it as month buys now i will copy this move or copy and create a copy and i will take is that as date wise in date wise i'll go to the show field i will take date in place of month and i will put the month in filters month quarter year supervisor so since we have taken this report filter field for column 2 in the starting that is the reason you can see uh, in a column there will be only two filter and week and you can take the supervisor name as well okay and we can choose a month let's say i'm taking only for chain here i can put i can freeze the this row freeze friends okay now in month wise freeze this and here also we can put the filters so I'm putting the same filters here in month wise also. So I have put these five filters here. Now uh, we will create, uh, we'll make the copy of this pivot. And let's say I'm taking it copy and rename this as supervisor wise. So in supervisor wise pivot, I'll go to the pivot field and here I will take, sorry, this is the supervisor name here and we can move date above and we can take the employee name after supervisor. So you can see this pivot has been created automatically just auto fit this column. and this is also let me change the column width for this as 12 okay this supervisor pivot also has been created now we will create a summary sheet or so before creating the summary sheet i have to take a support sheet so i'm just making the copy of this month wise move or copy let move to the end and i will make it as support and in this support sheet i will remove all the filters from here so one we will create a month on min chart so i will remove this p from here and CNS also from here, absent also from here, leave also from here, and the schedule count also from here. 
and i will remove this grand total also so to re removing this grand total i will go to the pivot option and here in totals and filters i'll remove this uh, grand totals so now we have removed the grand total also now just select this and go to the insert i will insert a line chart from here this one and just keep it here now you can see the filters and the values option is here so just go to the analyze in pivot chart tool option in this analyze i'll go to the show hide option and click on field and button and hide all here now you can see all the information has been moved now double click on this legion or uh, right click and go to the format legion then you can so see this format legion window is available here click on this bottom then legion will be moved to the bottom now uh, we will change the style before changing the style of this chart i will add chart title so click on this plus button chart in chart elements select the chart title here and rename this i'm putting as plant percentage versus unplanned percentage and now i'll go to the design and i will choose this design which is style 9 in this design i will remove this grid lines from here okay so now i will add a sheet here and rename this as summary support now cut this chart and go to the summary and put it here so now we will create these uh, circles and we will put uh, this slicer in summary and we will create this index also in the next part of this video so request you please watch the next part of this video thank you so much for the watching